Hello, wonderful people. Happy Saturday. Whoa, that is loud. I'm gonna need to see your ID and boarding pass, then pass you through security before you can board <laughs> travelers. Just kidding, let's enjoy our spots with friends today. Oh no, yay! I almost got it. I didn't get through secure the meowing security check. Hi, meowing! Yes, I'm excited! Let's travel to France today! We're doing a European tour because not too long ago we did um Italy and today we're traveling to France because it's a bright new day and we should go on our food trip. But anyways, how are y'all doing? Hello. Hi, Nezu. Hi, D-Man. Hello, Adam. Meowing. Hi, Yuzashi. Hello. Bonjour, Maku. Maybe I should try to pronounce everyone's name today with a French accent, which I can't do, so I might... I have already struggle with it in just a normal English accent, but... And we'll see. Thousand three. Hello, hello. Hello, Phil. Philippe. Philippe. The 2215. <laughs> Good morning. I'm sorry, Mom. We're going to have to stop you on the charges of looking too cute today. Bubbly chin. Ah, oh, just a Samson. Oh, you're too kind. Oh, no. Now my other accent. You're too kind, Mincio. Oh, thank you. Merci. Um, but yeah, I'm trying to dress a little more floral and like kind of I don't know I try to dress like I would be walking the streets of France I have a little like rose white rose here in my hair so but thank you just assassin you made me blush thank you um so what are we going I'm I said so too many times today already I think I said so 15,000 times already so I'm gonna try to oh no I said it again while saying that I am going to try to avoid that word for the next 10 minutes at least. <laughs> Today, we are going to be cooking or baking. Baking, because we've only baked once, which was on uh, the stream with Jeannie, where we were doing the Valentine's Day cooking, and that was so much fun. So I thought, I did it again, why not try baking? And this is something that I've been wanting to bake for years and years and years i'm not kidding i've always watched a lot of youtube videos and things like that on how to bake it and i've never got the courage to bake it but i was thinking you know chat is here you guys are all here so why not try something new and that is going to be we're going to be baking french macarons macarons i can't even say it properly but we're going to be making macarons I hope it goes well because I heard it's very challenging. We're getting baked. <laughs> yes, in a good way. Baked in a good way, not in a high way. But you will also be high off of happiness. Ooh, macarons. Yes, yes, yes. We are going to be baking macarons. And I have watched a lot of tutorials yesterday on what could go wrong with macarons, what to watch out for for macarons. I watched Tasties. I took the official Tasties Macaron 101 class last night. Uh, so hopefully, I take all of that into consideration. We will help the best we can. Oh, woe be gone. Hermit, thank you so much. Yes, I will appreciate it if you could help. And so, yeah, we're going to try to cook, bake macarons and see how they turn out and have some delicious yummy treats. In the middle of that, macarons don't fill your tummy, they just fill your heart with sweetness. So we're going to also be making French crepes. Uh, we'll be making savory crepes since the macarons will be the sweetness. So with that, shall we get started? Hello, ah, oh, hi, Silver. Hello. How are you doing today, Irene? Can't wait to see what you make. Ah, oh, God, Goku, thank you. I can't wait either. I really hope the macarons turn out nice and pretty because, uh, yeah, I've, you know, and the interesting thing about macarons, which I'm going to figure out today, is I pulled up the recipe from Tasty right here. Oh, it's blown up. But if you look at the ingredients, it's really a very cost effective dish. It's just powdered sugar, almond flour, 
which is a little more expensive than normal flour, but it's still, you know, flour cost. And then salt, three eggs, sugar, white sugar, vanilla extract, and food coloring. And then whatever you put in the filling. And it almost sounds like it would cost just as much as a donut or bagel, if not less. But strangely, if you try to go to a store and buy a macaroon, they cost a fortune. Like each little cookie is like three or five dollars. So I'm wondering why that is. I'm wondering if that means that there is an extra challenging aspect in the making process. Which based on the Tasty 101 video, it sounds like as long as you pay attention to those tips and tricks, it should work. So we'll find out today. But I'm excited nonetheless. Okay, let me get started. Oh, and then at the end of it, we're going to look at some of the emote drawings that you guys submitted on Discord. So we will do that while we're having our food break as well. So with that, shall we start uh, with the process? I'm going to be following Tasty's recipe. And it says that it is a two-hour recipe. But part of it is because you have to let the macaroon sit for a bit and be nice and comfortable in its shell. So we're going to overlay that with the crepe making. So don't worry, it's all gonna happen. It's all gonna happen in an orderly fashion. Although I say that and it always turns out to be chaos, but. <laughs> I wanna be higher than Irene's voice by the end of this year. <laughs> oh wow, that would be very, very high. You might be up in the sky because I, my voice does tend to get high when I get excited. And let me tell you, I am excited for today. Today's a baking adventure. Okay, part one. Grab eggs. We got little eggs over here. I think these eggs are Japanese. They're from Japanese chicken because I bought them at the Japanese market. It says Japanese at the top of it. Um, but yeah, grab some eggs from anywhere in the world. That is... That works great. And I'm going to separate out the egg whites. Let's do that. Do, 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 do. Oh no, I'm gonna take out the egg yolks. Oh, you know, if I had thought through this better, I would have decided to make carbonara today because we're only using egg whites so it would have been awesome had I figured out what to do with the egg yolks. But mm, the egg yolks may just have to go. We're gonna grab a large bowl, like this. Is this large enough? Oh, this looks good. Sorry, Bubbly, we need French eggs for this one. Oh, that's true. French eggs. Let come on. You're gonna be coming need to be French. Come on. No. It's from a French egg now. A French chicken. Oh, I spun too much. I'm dizzy. <laughs> but these are French eggs straight from belly. Okay, so we got our French eggs. I have a larger bowl because I don't want a mess getting everywhere. Rinse this slightly. Okay. Whoa. Hi, old boy. Old boy. Oh, yeah, yeah, old boy. I think I got high and died. There's so much light and I see an angel. Oh no, Jay Blair, don't die. Is this too bright? Maybe it's too bright. But the thing is my kitchen is not very bright. So if I turn down the ISO lower than this, then my kitchen starts looking like a bubbly cave. So not as bright and friendly for, um, for a cooking stream. So that's why I got it bright. I apologize if I'm blinding your eyes with the high ISO, but hopefully that will that will allow you to enjoy a, a more heavenly kitchen. 
let me plug in my overhead camera so that you can see what is going on in this bowl over here. such good use of this this tripod miniature thingy I initially did not buy it for stream but I didn't know I'd be using it for stream me it's working quite well okay let us plug this in Did I speak too soon? No, it's working. It's working. Oh, except I need this the other way around because I might take you to the fire later. Okay, secured. And let's plug y'all in. Plug it in. Whoa, you are on fire, Dongle. That's a pretty good angle, I must say. And let's add the overhead camera. Mm -hmm. Initiating OBS connection. Yes, meowing. We are initiating, we are Connecting. Okay, perfect. Perfect. Now, window capture, please. I must say, since that heart attack we had on the last stream, where um, Streamlabs locked me out like 10 minutes before or five minutes before um, streaming started, everything. Am I, sp am I speaking too soon? <laughs> Maybe I spoke too soon. Where are you, quick time player? Oh no, you're not showing up. I spoke too soon, I jinxed it! Irene! You're supposed to do anti-jinxing, remember? Okay, let's see if it pops up this time. Quick time player. Yep, quick time player is alive, live and alive. It was working earlier today. Let's see, don't panic, no panic. That is step one of resolving your problem. And then pray. <laughs> That's step two. Pray to the IT gods. Please let my QuickTime player show up in my window capture, please. Okay, and then now, bada bada. It ain't showing up. Okay, then step three is try restarting QuickTime player. Because QuickTime Player has to have worked, otherwise I can't have shown you guys the starting soon screen. I think it's just a little confuzzled. Okay. Okay, okay, let's try that again. Window capture. Quick time player. Yes, thank you for praying, everyone. Oh, the praying reminds me of how we were praying about the wind. And... <gasps> Quick time player, everyone's praying. Why are you not showing up? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, man. What do we do? I do need the overhead camera to work. And, and show for me to be able to show you guys inside of the pot. <laughs> okay, maybe, 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 just maybe. We must pray harder. <laughs> Thank you, Phil. You know what's really funny? Um, 
So you know how last week we had like a windstorm because of the barbecue and it was so windy that the rest of the week, zero wind, no wind. It was just like the wind was like, I just wanted to make my debut on stream, but I don't blow craziness when there is no stream going on. And then I was like, oh, okay, you know, in the future, some other Saturday, I want it to be calm too because I would like to try a picnic stream with you guys. But I don't know, maybe the stream is active every Saturday. Today, it is a little windy too. It's a breeze that only comes back on Saturday. Very, very strange. Okay, let me try quitting QuickTime Player one more time because third time is a charm. That's step three. If it doesn't work, try again, but try third time because third time is always a charm. So now I'm gonna switch up the order and I'm gonna pray before I launch QuickTime Player. And this time I'm gonna specifically pray to the QuickTime Player gods, not the IT gods. Maybe QuickTime Player got offended. And player gods, let yourself show up on window capture on Streamlabs. Thank you. Okay. Please, 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 please. Oh, please. Okay, window capture. Let's go. Add source. Add to source. to the QuickTime player worked. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. What a happy, happy feeling. Ah, oh, yay. Okay, now phone, go behind chat. Um, which one are you? Okay, it's not you. It worked, yes, hype, seriously. So much happiness hype. Okay, so that's you. Okay, let me put you behind chat Wahaha! that is the most satisfying feeling ever when when things aren't working and then all of a sudden bam it works after you try all these uh like superstitious things such as uh no i'm not gonna say superstitious because just in case i'm jinxing myself again but i don't know why i get so superstitious when it comes to stream normally i'm not the superstitious of a person in terms of like like ha having to pray to every single like IT God and like internet God and all of that. Like I am not normally that type of person, but when it comes to stream, I feel like there's so many things that are outside of my control that I feel like I need to bring everything. I need to bring anti jinxing I need to bring all my prayer power. I need to ch prayer pray with you guys. I need your guys' prayers. Dennis Frankenlow says hello. Uh, do the dance one more time, please. I did a dance, J Player? I didn't even know I did a dance. <laughs> Sometimes I do stuff without even knowing when I'm like jumping up and down for happiness because I'm just, I'm just like, it's not even a dance, it's a natural bodily reaction. But whew, I am so glad it's working yay okay so with that we will get started the eggs are well into room temperature because i heard that eggs become room temperature in about 30 minutes and it's been 30 minutes since i took it out of the fridge it's a perfect timing i think quick time player maybe on purpose so that we would have enough time to make the eggs room temperature okay <sighs> oh! <laughs> oh, Dennis SRR sixty one. Sorry. <laughs> oh, not the Dennis, but I'm Dennis. Oh, I see. I'm sorry. Hello, Dennis SRR sixty one. Hello. Yes, of course. There is not just one Dennis in the world. You are the Dennis. 
Okay, it says, oh, but it's pretty cold still. It doesn't feel very room temperature-y. I don't know, maybe I had to leave it out of the box. Maybe the box retains heat or something because it seems pretty cold, I would say. But it's okay. We're, it says, make the macaroons in the bowl of a food processor, combine powdered sugar, almond flour, and half teaspoon of salt, and process on low speed until extra fine. Ooh, okay. Well, we'll have to do that part first then. Food processor. Oh no, I'm, okay. There is a warning, so there is going to be a little bit of noise throughout this stream. I'm gonna try my best to not hurt your guys' ears and turn this away when that happens. But we're also going to play a game when we have those loud kitchen mixer stuff. So because we are going to have a little bit of like egg beating and we're going to have a little bit of um, food processor going on. So I'll tell you about it after I open, after I get the food processor. Food processor. Oh, here you go. Here is the Handy Dander food processor, the one that took me an hour on one of my beginning streams to open. Hopefully that doesn't happen again this time. <laughs> no worries. Blenders go be ar 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 Burr! Burr! Yes, thank you, just Assassin, for understanding. I appreciate it. Okay food processor, do you reach? Maybe you might have to be here. Which is good, because we don't want to blast people's ear. That rhymes. And look, I opened it within a second. Ain't that wonderful? I'm gonna lightly rinse it because we want it to be nice and clean for a very high quality flunch macaroon. Okay, gotta be careful because this is where Jeannie hurt her hands last time and we don't want to see blued on stream. Okay. Perfect. I think it is almost nice and dry now. Great, and let us measure out our ingredients into here. Oh, there's a little bit more water. Make sure there's no water. Okay, it says, where's the recipe? The recipe says, can you guys read it? Why is it backwards? Oh, because you're flipped. There we go. Now you can read. No, how come it feels still backwards? Flip horizontal. horizontal oh it ain't working okay well I'll read it to you I'll read it to you in French extreme fine print okay so to make the macaroons in a bowl of a food processor right here we are going to combine powdered sugar let's get powdered sugar we have right here powdered sugar also known as confectioner sugar. We are going to put in how much powdered sugar, sir? We will put in a cup and three fourths. So let's grab our cups. OK, 
a cup and three fourths of powdered sugar. Oh man, we're gonna be so sugar, sugar high by the end of this. Uh -huh -oh. It, oh, oh, it's attached. I see. So I guess I just gotta cut this. Let's cut. cut. Okay. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. One cup. One cup, please. But I think I'm getting more powdered sugar in there than than into the cup. How this is not very user friendly. Getting powdered sugar everywhere. Ah! I was gonna do this in a very orderly French fresh. Ah! But it's not. Um. Maybe I'm just not a very. Maybe I'm. Uh, I'm not a very. Uh, what do you call it? Elegant kitchen person. In the kitchen, I am quite clumsy, and I can't escape from that, no matter how much I try. Please, I don't want powdered sugar going everywhere. I, I also think it would have helped had I had a larger food processor. Okay, balance, don't fall. It has begun. No, it has an MZ. We we're we're going to have a nice flunch. Macaroon, orderly French macaroon. Okay, there's one. There's one cup. I don't think this food processor was meant for this. That's why. It's meant for sauces and not something this big. Oh, it has snowed. Okay. Wait. Oh, that was a th three fourths of a cup. This is one cup. I don't think they're all gonna fit. If they're not all gonna fit, I don't know what the pro the point of me doing this is. Well, I guess we'll just have to sift them in one at a time is what it is. Please, I don't understand how this is supposed to spill. Maybe I can kind of rip it down. That's what we'll do. We'll rip it down and we'll cut this indent a little bigger. Better angle. Okay, there we go. Still getting everywhere. Uh oh, it's really, well, I have plans for this because I'm wearing white today. So you guys will never know even if I get sugar on myself. I just need a little more box. Just need a little more powdered sugar. Or do I? Maybe this is enough. Maybe this is good enough. Yeah, that's definitely good enough. Okay, please go in. See, there's no room for anything else. I don't think this is gonna work. Let's see. Let's see what there else is there. What else there is room for? Cause it is asking for. It's also asking for almond flour, and it needs one cup of almond flour. Powdered sugar, one cup of almond flour. Okay, let's see if that will fit. Here is almond meal, which is also meal or flour. Apparently they're the same thing, and it is finely ground. But they said, uh, Tasty 101 said it can never be finely ground enough, so you need to still, whoa, look, it already looks like bread. You need to still grind it, grind it. <laughs> Irene knows her trade in white substances. No, well, you're gonna see more white substances later because we're gonna bring out 
other types of flour as well. Oops. Oh, wow, this is really getting everywhere. Please stick to the cup. Why can't you just cooperate? Almond flour. Maybe flowers are born just rebellious. I recently watched the movie um, Soul where it is about kind of different people having different personalities, I guess. I don't think I'm describing it properly. But anyways, um, in there, little characters get different personalities. I think flowers were born with a personality of rebelliousness and being everywhere, just getting everywhere. Because every time I work with flower, it gets everywhere. Okay, there is our almond flower. Almond flower? Learn something new. Yeah, I, I, I've I never seen almond flour used in recipes other than macaroons, so I wonder if they're healthier than normal flour. Let me see the nutrition facts. It says, oh, it's backwards for you guys, but I don't know how to read these nutrition facts very well, but it says carbs are three grams per two tablespoons versus for normal flour carbs are 22 grams for I can't see it but I, I think it has less carbs than normal flour I don't really know we will see okay with that we okay we need to combine powdered sugar, almond flour, half teaspoon of salt. Let's grab some salt. Half teaspoon. Half teaspoon of salt. Do it elsewhere so that it doesn't make your macaron too salty. Oh, there we go. Good thing we did it here. Half teaspoon of salt. That was a half, right? Okay. That was like where you, you accident, you like check your email the second after you click send, but you're thinking I should have probably double or triple checked that the before you click send. It's kind of like that where I was like, wait, after I put it, I was like, I put in half a teaspoon, right? That was in a tablespoon. <laughs> so make sure you check before you put it in. Daniel Reaver, bubble corn, happy to see you. You make some fr you make some French cooking. Passez un bonnet au journey and bonnet à pet bonnet petit. I don't know what that means exactly, but I think it means have a good journey and let it be delicious or something like bonnet petit enjoy. I believe. We're going to learn French today too. I found good French tutorial videos where we can learn um, some French phrases from this pretty entertaining girl that I found on YouTube. So we will do that today as well. I believe that is good. And a low speed until extra fine. Okay, we are going to go burr this real quick. I'm a little worried. I think there was some water in here. Should have probably not rinsed it right before. But I do want to burr it here so that you guys can see. Let me see if this will reach. You guys still there? Whoop. Why did I do that? <gasps> Is the stream still alive? Why did it why did it turn off my um computer? Is the stream still alive? I can't tell. What just happened? Is my monitor still alive? I can't see. Monitor, why are, why are you not turning on? Just a second, guys. Computer monitor. <laughs> now, here to the Lords of Dell. A 
Okay, computer monitor says no HDMI signal. We're still alive here and can see you. Oh, awesome. Yeah, it's just my computer monitor. My computer monitor does not have a channel. Okay. Okay. There we go. Okay. Oh, but my QuickTime player decided to quit. But my Streamlabs is still there. Oh, okay, cool. Let me restart QuickTime Player. It seems like the overhead camera view is frozen though. Ah, oh, yes, I think that is what froze. Okay, let's, let's see if it comes back. Back overhead camera and turn on, please. Do, do, do. Oh no, QuickTime Player is doing it again. Why? Why you? Why are you doing this again? Please don't do this again. We're we're in the middle of making a creation. A French macaroon masterpiece. Okay. Okay. Gotta warm up again real quick. Please, that work. Sorry, guys. I should have just kept the blender back there. But I wanted to show you so that you can see the process of it becoming um, fine because it's very satisfying to watch. So hopefully um, this will show up. Second time worked. Oh, thank you, Wobby Gun Hermit, and just an assassin for praying, and everyone else, J Blair, and everyone for sending the 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 energy to make this happen. Oh, Winter Bullpine, thank you for your second month of sobbing. Thank you. It worked. Twitch doesn't want you to reveal the secrets to a good macaroon. So And seeing you guys, I believe, I hope I am, back. Oh, thank you, saved. It was so weird. I saw a screen that I've never seen before yet where it was showing me, like, failed to, go, failed to capture Twitch. And meowing, it was right in the middle of when I was reading your message that the macaroon gods... <laughs> Never die. Exactly! Die. Hurrah! We never die. We'll be back. We be back. Um so yeah, it was I'm sorry that happened. I'm not quite sure, but it might be what Meowing suggested that um that it is trying to prevent us from sharing the secrets of how to to cook a good macaroon. And I would really appreciate it if QuickTime Player worked too, but... Twitch wants them secrets. <laughs> it does. It's a war between Twitch and... Um, it's a war between Twitch and the... And the Macaroon Gods. It's like, who is going to win? And right now, I would say... It's one-to-one. -one. Or maybe it's not one-to-one -one yet because we're still at step one. Oh, wait. You can't see the overhead camera which I'm trying to get it to work again. It's working on my screen. It's just Twitch won't let me show you guys. Let's try this one more time. If not, we're gonna maybe give it a break as in the overhead camera break and we're gonna just try cooking. Yeah. Please and please don't freeze this time, sir. I'd appreciate it if you don't freeze so that 
so that um what was the poll how many macaroons could you eat in one sitting what wait what what, what was the answer macaroons yes <laughs> that one means unlimited right i recently learned that i recently learned that phrase uh, considering my boomerness, but I have recently learned that phrase one, so good answer. I am on that boat. Macaloons, yes. Get a little bigger, and everything will be okay now. Calm down, everyone. By everyone, I mean Irene. <laughs> okay, we're back in business, and now shall we burr? Yes, calm. Am I calm though? This is now the part I'm struggling with. Come on. Why are you not? Okay, puree. Chop. I'm not sure. Okay, maybe. No. Okay, here I go battling the uh, kitchen equipments again. Yet again. Oh, there we go. Oopsies. Okay, and let's plug it in without shutting down the whole world. Oh, and let me also make sure the camera doesn't fall. Put a little sandbag around the camera leg so you don't fall, sir. And let us make this go burr. Go burr. Okay. Now, I'm going to turn down the mic just a little bit and test this out. Let me know if it hurts your ears, okay, guys? It is pretty loud. It's pretty loud. Be gentle with Irene. Yeah, I'm going to be gentle. Um, so it's pretty loud. I'm going to turn down the mic further. But the game I was going to play, my ears are high. <laughs> Not too bad. Okay, I'm going to uh, keep pushing. Yep, I'm going to keep pushing. Uh, I just wanted to make sure you guys' ears are fine. The game I was going to play, I might lose my voice by the end of this, is, you know how we're not supposed to really sing too much, but if I'm burring, you guys can't hear it, right? So I'm going to sing a song while I am burring with the mic down and see if you guys can guess what song I'm singing. Okay, I need to think of a song. What's a song? I can't think of any songs. Okay, we'll start very simple. You'll be able to guess this very quickly. Does it? Oh, nice. It is, it is, it's, it's grinding very, very, very softly. Wow, it is actually very, very, it's turning out pretty good. I think I need to do it a little louder. Okay, let me think of another song. If you guys wait, I'll think of it while I burn. I'm having a song crash right now. I can't think of any songs or lyrics. I think the burr is getting to my head. I need to write down a list of songs next time before I play this game. Well, let's come back. Was that okay? High pitch ASMR. Irene, brain go burr. Yeah, I think this thing is making my brain go burr because I couldn't think of anything. Is that possible? I couldn't think of any songs. It just like makes your brain go burr. So, we 
are now going to let's put this and sieve it all the dry ingredients into here it was a okay okay perfect that is good to know except next time i just need to write down the songs i'm going to sing maybe i'll just sing disney songs to so that i know the lyrics okay so we're going to sieve this in oh shoot I have a feeling. Oh, whoa, look. This is so smooth down here. Basically, it just made a little, like very flat land as if it's concrete. It's so flat. Do you guys see it? It's really flat. <gasps> it's like a rock. Oh, it's because there was water down here. Shoot. Okay, well, I think it's because of the moisture down there. Oh, well gonna eventually get mixed into wet ingredients anyway. Whoops, that might have hurted your ears. Okay. Irene, please don't. DMC is dumb annoying. Really? They'll they'll be able to catch it like that too? It's snowing. Here, I'll do it up here so you guys can see it. Except doing it too high might make it snow everywhere else, so I can't do it too high. But you guys can kind of see it snowing. It's snowing. It's snowing. Oh, this is going to take a lot of arm power. Is it snowing where you guys are at too? I think uh, sing too well equals get CMCA. Oh, well, I don't have that issue. Okay, look, it's very fine snow. It, we just need to get the, the rest of this into, into here. Okay, well, maybe the next time we do it, we can do... Um, I won't sing, I will try to describe something and then you guys guess what it is or I will try to make an animal noise and then you guys try to guess what it is. So we'll do that when we're making the meringue. Oh, yeah, this is a workout stream. Workout video was thing? Yes, it just might be a workout video. This is, this is quite a workout sifting flour. Maybe I can I can use a spatula. But I think if I do it that way, then it won't be as never snow in my country. Really? Your entire country, it doesn't snow? Do you live in the tropical place? In a tropical place? That sounds so nice. Take breaks. Yes, I might need to take breaks. I've been... But we're almost there, we're almost there. It looked a lot faster on the Tasty video. It looked like she just did it like three times and then it was all sifted. She says she made 3,000 macaroons and this recipe makes 30 macaroons. So that means she tried a hundred, she tried the recipe a hundred times to perfect it. And that perfected recipe is what we're following today. Oh, Southeast Asia. Really, Southeast Asia doesn't snow? I think Korea is kind of Southeast Asia as well. Same with South Africa, no snow here. Oh, interesting. I thought you have to be super close to the equator for it to not snow. Oh, my arm. <laughs> oh, oh. Arms are, oh no. All this snow got away. The one that got away. Wow, 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 wow. I'm purposely off pitch, not because I can't do it. No, I'm just kidding. Um, I don't know. I like seeing off pitch. It's really entertaining and fun for me. Do you guys do that too? It's just fun. Okay. 
Korea is East Asia, not South enough. Oh. Oh, that makes sense. We are East Asian. Ooh, by the way, um, so I was reading Discord and then you guys were saying there is this concept of point redemption, which I'm not quite sure what that is. But, um, and then it said like, oh, I can do stuff where for point redemption, I can like blow bubbles or do something, like do a dance or teach a word in Korean or something. Do you guys know how to do the point redemption thing? These are point redemptions. These are point redemptions. Yuzashi? What are these? Oh, highlighted messages are point redemptions. I see. Aha, uh -huh. this is like, this is nice getting educated on these. Point redemption is basically like submitted channel points to make specific requests like the highlighted messages, etc. Point gambling soon. Oh, the highlighted message costs 100 points. Oh, I didn't know that. That's how you guys highlight some of the messages. But how do I make point redemption something that would require an action for me? Also, you set the cost what you want. Oh, I see. I'm down. I want to gamble. <laughs> Modified emo. Whoa, you had sunglasses to the, to the, with the, to the comfy emo. You add more options. Oh, I could probably share some channel points tutorial later. Oh, thank you, Zilver. That'd be awesome. Genie set highlighted messages at 2K. Oh, 2K? Oh my God, that's expensive. I guess people have so many points over there that her whole chat would be highlighted otherwise. As we participate in viewing your streams. Oh, that's why Genie have Panda Mask Redemption. Oh, that's why she puts on Panda Mask when she, when you guys when she, when when she on certain occasions that makes a lot of sense you get points for watching your live streams oh i see it's at 9005k points right now really you saw she have 19000 points ah so what kind of gangsta? If the cost too low, people spamming like the highlight messages. Oh, I feel like I'm taking a class. You guys are so good at teaching about Twitch. Twitch 101. You guys should lead the Twitch bootcamp. Oh, these are the stuff that are left and I think we're good with these. So what kind of stuff do you, if you guys have suggestions, I have 5,000, 26,000, wow. Wow, oh, you guys are so point rich. 1500 here. Oh man, I do need to come up with different point redemption stuff then. What kind of stuff do you guys suggest for the point redemption? 7,000. Wow. 40,000 million. Wow. Wow. You guys are point rich. I wonder how many points I have. Okay, got rid of some of them white powder so that it doesn't look as sketchy anymore. Um, and all of our, our ingredients are powdered. You need to give us some more to spend these things on. Okay, I will definitely do that. I will definitely do that. I'm just trying to figure out what kind of stuff would be good to spend it on. What would you guys like to spend it on? Okay, and I got to separate them eggs now. Potastics Mods has over 400k on her channel. Whoa! That makes sense because Jeannie's been streaming for over a year. Oh, wait. Oh, not over a year yet, I think. She's reaching her one year anniversary soon, I think. <sighs> Don't 
don't get me started on Genie. So. <laughs> she can redeem Genie and stream. Really? Oh, she's done 10 months. Oh, you, oh, she has a point redemption one where she just ends stream? Love of Fake Plants has... Love of Fake Plants has a fiance created the bubbly virus and is known for her infamous white powder dream. I'm gonna have the FBI has show. Channel points to make Jeannie in her stream over 700k. Wow, that is crazy. You guys can see each other's points too. That's pretty cool. But yeah, what kind? I I need to figure out what kind of stuff are good things for point redemption. In a separate large bowl, beat egg whites and. The remaining half teaspoon of salt with an electric hand mixer until soft peaks form. <gasps> this is the exciting part now. Let me separate out the egg whites into here. Who would pick her to end stream? That would be a villain. That's true. That's true. What? Oh no, egg! Don't die. Okay. So I think I heard you should just, oh, these are definitely room temperature now. Okay, perfect. Whoa, is it just me or is this super orange? It looks the same color as this. Do you guys see it? This egg yolk is really orange. Oh, hi, Omni God Rizwan. Thank you for hosting. Oh, you could be a hero if Jeannie's tired and 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 stream it early. I guess that could be too. Eggs want to escape. Yes, eggs have legs. Apparently. Ah! Oh no, I got an eggshell in. Ah! No, 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 no! No! No, 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 no! The egg yolk can't pop because I have to separate out the egg yolk. Oh shoot, no! No, what do I do? Oh! Wait, let's see if we can salvage this. Oh shoot, no, 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 no. Okay, they said that you're supposed to do it with your hand where your hand will take out the egg yolk. No, I think I have to start over because this egg yolk is impossible to take out. Yeah, oh no. Goodbye eggs but this is such a waste of an egg okay i'm gonna s oh <laughs> oh ladle 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 but if i do a ladle i won't have exact measurements for the eggs mm. scramble eggs use a cup or large spoon to scoop out the broken yolk well <laughs> Broken yolk <laughs> became a lot of parts now. I should have done that before I did it with my hand. Okay, we're gonna unfortunately have to do this again. I'm sorry, egg. I'm sorry, egg. Guess. Oh, Whiz Thane! 100 guess? Guess what? Guess what? Yes, again? Try to scramble eggs, save it for later, don't throw IT away. Uh, 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 I already tossed them. I'm sorry, you guys. I couldn't think quickly enough to rescue them. I should have not tossed them. I'm sorry, okay, I'm sorry, eggs. Let's do this round two again. I should have not tossed them. Oh man, I'm gonna get so many hate messages. Rebecca's bubbly tin sash, bubbly tin sash. Oh man, oh no. Oh, why did this happen? No, everything was going so well. Well, I don't know what I'm talking about in terms of everything going so well. I haven't really done much yet. <laughs> I haven't done much yet, to be honest, because I had so many technical issues today. But let's try this again. Let's try this one more time. Hopefully everything goes nice and smooth this time. Now I see why macaroons are cost a fortune because already this is a very 
demanding recipe. Okay, please don't crack egg yolk. Good. Ultra focus, don't crack the egg yolk. But this egg yolk is very orange. It is so orange. It's looking at you, it's got googly eyes. Hello. This is like a derpy face. This reminds me of the derp face emote. Small bowl, Irene, small bowl. Oh, small bowl makes it better. Uh-huh. I see, I should do that in the future. That way it doesn't like fall so, so much. Okay, there we go. These are good. And then the tasty lady said that, yes, those ones, the derp ones. If you wash your hands, then you can just use your hands to separate out the yolk. That's what she said. She said that this is the easiest and cleanest method to separate out the yolk without breaking the egg yolk. That's what the Tasty 101 video said. Oh, and it worked. Look, I got just the egg yolk. It's so cute. Jiggle, 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 jiggle. Oh, eggs with dark orange, orange yolks are mostly laid by pasture raised hens. This diet is rich in carotenoid which gives living organisms a red or orange color. Aha! Maybe that is why, because this one did say, oh, right, this one's a French eggs, French, French egg, where the chicken was raised on the pasture side of France. Okay, we are almost there. Last egg yolk. It's so cute. Is it just me, but it's so cute. Have you guys, do you guys know the thing where it's like, Hi, Hi Jane goes to Uba Bubbly Tin Hive, Bubbly Tin Hive, Bubbly Tin Hive, Bubbly Tin Hive. Yay! Chick, chick, and chick, 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 bubble, 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 bubble. We've gotten all the egg yolks out. And let us whip up this meringue. Come up with a hype where it's like energizing. Hi! Yeah, like that. <laughs> because I did the choo choo too much, so I came up with a new hype one, which is like, Hi! It's like where you energize it. Like in the, uh, like, what do you call it? Like Super Smash Brothers, where you're like, oh, what? But it's like, Hi! Got my sand mixer. Oh, Demon 95. Thank you so much for the five tier one subs. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Okay, so now we have another kitchen equipment over here. What? Attachment. The whisk attachment. Oh, oh my god, we're almost at a hundred percent hype. This is actually how I open it. Really? You make everything crash and fall to the ground? Guess you and I have that alike. Wash them. Oh, that's a great idea, Idaho Turtle. I will definitely wash them. Okay, now I gotta be careful when I unplug stuff, making sure I unplug the proper item, not have stream end like the last kitchen equipment that brought down everything. Okay. Okay, let's wash these. I have a question, guys. So, the I'm going to wash them, but they said that the, the Tasty 101 video said, use the whisk attachment so that it beats your eggs better. 
and it fluffs in more air. Oh, Adam, thank Keep you so much alive. for the cheering. Keep the train alive. Hot! Yay! Um, but then I only have one of this. So is it better to use this one or is it better to use this one where there's two of them? Which one am I supposed to use? The whisk or... Shoot, I was supposed to wash that. Whisk, whisk or two. Oh, okay. Idaho Turtle says whisk. So I'll go, I'll go wash all of these, but we'll be using the whisk. Single whisk. Okay, perfect. Whoa, this makes sword sounds. Probably not do that, it had water on it. Oh my gosh, Boomer Bob! Thank you so much for the five tier one subs! Thank you! Let's do the dance. Thank you! Oh, I'll do this. Thank you! Two, three, four, five! That was a bad wave, but thank you! Thank you! I need to practice my thank you dances a little more. Thank you so much, Boomer Bob! Oh, CXG Legends, thank you so much for gifting the sub. Thank you. Okay, so the one whisk, it looks kind of strange because it only has one side. What? Let's see. We are going to make it go burr again, but this time we're going to make it go burr inside this um, bowl. And it says... Uh, it says, what does it say? Uh, this is the part where we have to pay, pay a lot of attention. Half teaspoon of salt. Okay, let's grab the other half teaspoon. Well, yes, it got in the bowl there or she washed them. Five seconds rule. We good. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Meowie. Yes, we're going to apply the five second rule. Usually it is a three second rule, but we're going to save five seconds. Oh, and we've learned don't do that inside the bowl. Half teaspoon. Okay, there's half. Grim Soul Reaper. Ah, thank you so much for the hut and keeping the train going, fueling the train. Okay, so with this, we're going to now try the hand mixer burr. I hope this one's not mixer goes burr. Yes, more sealed. Yep. But I measured it meowing, so it's not going to be overly salty. I'm going to turn this back down now and so that it doesn't hurt your ears, but let me know if it hurts your ears. So it says... Wait, before I turn it down, I need to get sugar ready because it says... Gradually add sugar until fully incorporated. Continue to beat until soft, still peaks form. You should be able to turn the bowl upside down without anything falling. Oh yeah, so we're gonna beat this so much that it's gonna be where we can turn it upside down without it falling out of the bowl. I am so sorry for scarring me Thursday. I just wanna share the move I love with the family I love. You scarred us on Thursday? I don't remember any scarring going on, but we appreciate you sharing stuff that you love. Hopefully none of you other got scarred. I'm not quite sure what that scarring was, but hi, Dragon Lair, good to see you. Okay, um, yo, okay. Uh, how much sugar do we need? How much sugar? Quarter cup of granulated sugar, okay. We're just gonna grab my other sugar. By the way, oh, I was gonna say, does sugar ever go bad? Here's our sugar. So we will put it in here and grab a quarter cup of sugar and put that in gradually. That's all we need. I thought it was supposed to be a lot more sugar. Guess not. Okay, so here's our quarter cup of granulated sugar, which just means white sugar. Okay, 
there is our sugar that is ready. Oh, you guys are comfy and ready for the sugar. Oh, you sugar pies. Get ready for the meringue. Okay, now here we go. It does sound like vacuuming. Okay, this animal is... Why did why did Quick Time Player just die? Why did you die? Uh, that is strange. Strange, strange. I can't hear you properly. Okay, don't do this in the middle of me meringuing. We're still here. Yes, you guys are still here. Thank you. But um, the Quick Time Player uh decided to go black. I do not know why. Oh, it doesn't recognize my phone anymore. Why? I meant scared, sorry, spell check, but the old movie I got has a giant spider, but y'all think has cute, so don't worry. There's a giant spider? Oh, man! I'm scared of spiders. Oh, there we go. Oh, there we go. Okay, by the way, was that volume okay? Hopefully it was. I'm going to burr it a little more now.
Do you guys think these are um, soft? These are hard peaks. Are you making macaroons or macaroons? Yes. Both French but different. I'm making macaroons. Do you guys think these are? I think they need to be a little more, right? Because they're they're bending down. They need to not bend down. They said basically, or would you say these are hard peaks, not soft peaks? A little more. The peak should not bend. Okay, okay, a little bit more. We're almost there. I need to stop yelling when it's back up. Okay, I'm gonna do a little more. Okay, there we go. Yay! I think this is pretty good now. What do you guys think? It's not bending anymore, right? So is this good? Do you guys think this is good? I think this is pretty good, right? Because it's not bending. That is a firm peak. Okay, good. And then they said the ultimate test to make sure it's a firm peak is to hold it upside down and it should not fall on your head. Should I do that test? shake it and it won't fall it's not falling it's really working it still peaks that's good yay okay we did it and so now we are going to just it says um add vanilla and beat until incorporated oh man i i need to add the vanilla shoot let me add the vanilla vanilla Okay, how much vanilla? It says add half teaspoon of vanilla. <gasps> Oops. That's about half. Good, and let's just incorporate it real quick. taste it unless I want to get sick so okay that is done oh my god it was at max volume oh no oh are your ears okay I'm so sorry I I'm so sorry that was complete accident I hope your ears are okay Fun peoples. Hmm. Okay, so I'm going to mix this in. I hope your ears are okay. Again, I'm sorry about that. Uh, 
and and we're going to mix this in okay let's mix in a third at a time okay so that seems to be about a third whoa this is so floofy so floofy Apparently, this process is called macronaging it. Okay, that one's good. Let's mix in another third. Not that loud, to be honest. Kind of disappointed of the volume too low. Really? Wow, you guys must have super strong ears that are well um, prepared for loud noises. Okay, this is looking pretty good. The texture is looking pretty good thus far. I think once we put in the last one, it will be pretty good. Okay, the rest of the powder now. in the rest of the powder. It's Genie Scream. Just trained from Genie and Yuki. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> I, I, I have heard Genie Scream quite a bit too. That's why I can't listen to it with, um, and her fire alarm going off when she was making the, um, what do you call it? The pork chops. That was actually not that loud, as loud as I had expected. Okay, so apparently when you're done with your macaroon, um, mixing you're supposed to mix it about 30 times which i forgot to count so it's definitely not 30 times but when you're mixing it's supposed to make a figure eight this looks too watery i feel like i did something wrong but it said when you can make a figure eight with your spatula then it's good which it looks like it's already doing so i guess i've already done it this looks dead i'm pretty worried about this macaroon uh, because this looks way too, I mean, it looks kind of okay. Maybe it's okay. It looks so soft and fluffy. Mm, I hope it is. Okay, we're going to split this into three and mix in a little bit of cocoa powder into one and then pink in another one because we're going to make it into three different colors. So let me put a dollop in here. Okay, and a dollop in here. Because it's supposed to make 30 macaroons, so hopefully this will be a good split to do five, 10 macaroons in each. Okay, maybe a little more in here. Okay. Okay, that looks good enough, so Mm, let's make the pink one first. This one's going to be pink. Pink. Put in a little bit of pink food dye. a little we don't want it to become bloody red like that time genie made the hello irene happy saturday it's good to see you once more <gasps> here are some funds for some snacks or boba when you're able to have some once more oh thank you jose thank you good to see you i hope you are well thank you so much for the snack of fun 
really appreciate it. And actually, I feel like I should be able to eat the boba now. I feel like it's been a month. Feels like it's been forever. Okay, here is the pink macaroon. Perfect. Let's put this into a piping bag. Well, let's do that after we, we do the rest of this. So this one will be, oops, this one will be, what color should this one be? Oh, this one was gonna be the cocoa one. Where's the cocoa housework go? This one's gonna be chocolate. One's going to be chocolate. Whoa. Whoa. It's blowing out chocolate fumes. I don't know how it does that, but we're going to mix a little bit of chocolate powder into this one. I think that's good enough. Tiramisu next. Ooh, tiramisu would have been good. Guess I could have put in some, some, um, what do you call it? Oh, that was way too much chocolate powder. Oh, shoot. Way too much cocoa powder. Whoopsie. Oh, well. We'll see how this turns out. Oh, this actually looks pretty okay. This looks okay. Maybe it wasn't too much. And the rest will be white. Okay, so let's put these into piping bags. Da, da, da. Okay, here, where's the piping bag? Oh, here we go. Popping bag is right over here. Relaxing. Oh, yeah, today is definitely much more of a relaxing type of stream than last Saturday's because that was so much chaos. The barbecue in the wind was so, so, so much chaos. Today we're going for something a little more relaxing and doing some baking. Chocolate one first. Let's put you into the piping bag. I don't know if this will really make 10 macaroons. Really? Huh. I mean, that's what the recipe said. Try and put a little bit more. This won't make 30 macaroons, but maybe it's because I'm I you don't need as many as you as much as you think with each macaroon cookie. Okay, let's drop this in. Okay, all of you. We're gonna use every last drop. Not let it go to waste, like those eggs. Pretty good, pretty good. Okay, good. There, we've cleared, clean plate club, clean bowl club. I feel safer here. Jamie's <gasps> cooking streams are dangerous since they left to WA. I still remember the pain from that cooking collab and the intense face bombing aka face slapping. So scuffed haha. -ha. But it's good content still. Oh my god. 
she the what what oh in Washington oh yes 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 Jeannie Jeannie's are very very I feel like Jeannie's kitchen though their their cooking are so fast now they whip it up like that because Sir Henry is a very quick cooker he's like a Gordon Ramsay he's like a Henry Ramsay. There we go. Okay, nice. We got the chocolate one. Chocolate one good to go. Chocolate macaroon. I'm gonna put these eggs maybe over here still. And then we got to get our other macaroons good to go in a piping bag as well. So where's my next? Oh, piping bag. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Let's do the strawberry one. like a strawberry smoothie which would also be very nice right now okay get every last droplet I feel like I might have deflated the meringue a little when I did it because it doesn't look as floofy as I would have expected, but we'll see how it turns out once we put it in the oven. We never know until we see the final product. Oh, this is really little for the strawberry. We're gonna have to hope it turns out well because it's only like this much for the strawberry. Very little, but we will squeeze out every last drop when we squeeze it. Here's the strawberry, and then let's do the white, the vanilla flavored one. Although they're all vanilla flavored actually because I didn't put flavoring to them. This reminds me, I have blonde lemon and caramel coconut Oreos hidden in my studio. Lemon? There's such thing as lemon Oreos? How? I didn't know that lemon Oreos was existed. Oh, I have way too much of the vanilla one, but that's okay. Vanilla is, this one will be the safest one that might turn out the best. Trying to concentrate so that I don't lose any of these guys. almost there I'm most excited for the piping part um, so I'm glad we're getting very close to that point this one's very sticky that's a good sign let's get every last drop my hands are clean There we go. There we go. Yay, we have our three different macaroons right over here. We have vanilla, chocolate, and strawberry. I want to say strawberry, but I feel like I'm I'm lying saying that because it's actually vanilla, but it's just pink batter. So yeah, we got all three and we're gonna start piping our macaroons. Let's do that. I need, I need a hair tie or a rubber band to keep these together. Hair tie please, do I have a hair tie in the back? Okay, three hair ties. That's perfect. We just tie 
tie these together so it doesn't come out of the back. You get a ponytail. And you get a ponytail. Okay, there's our three and let's pan it up. I should close this vanilla extract before I spill it everywhere. Where is the parchment paper? Oh, here we go. Maybe that's better. Uh, maybe I'll just do this and then cut one of the sides. Okay, that's good. We shall put one of the sides. Okay, this side also needs to get cut. Paper have like a right side up. I just can't tell. I feel like both sides are exactly the same. There. Okay. I think that's pretty good. Let's start with the white one as practice because it is the lightest. And so, and also, I'm going to. to just make my hands cooler so that I don't make it I don't make it um I don't heat up the batter too much Swedish fish flavor really that sounds like a fake flavor they make Swedish fish fish flavor Swedish fish flavor what Oreos the only thing I know about right side up is just so it don't roll up while it's laying there with nothing on it Are you guys talking about Oreos still? Are there any desperation flavored contract? Okay, I think my hand is cold enough. Oh, yes, thank you, Zilver. I do have the butter out of, out of the fridge right over there. Thanks for checking. Yeah, there are Swedish fish Oreos. Really interesting. That sounds like, I don't know how to interpret that. I don't know how that would taste. I'm not quite sure how that would taste. Okay, let's start off with a smaller slip because you can always make it larger, but you can't make it smaller. You're supposed to make four dots so that it doesn't move while you put the rest of your stuff on or while it bakes. Maybe I'm being too stingy with my dollops over here. <laughs> Maybe I should be less stingy, but I don't have that. I feel like I don't have that much batter. Okay, I think I actually need to make a bigger slit. Okay, here we go. Let's try to make our little macarons. Okay, make it a circle. These are turning out to be very different sizes. I'm kind of nervous that this might not turn out 
how I envisioned it, but it's actually less liquidy than I thought. I think I should have cut the slit to be bigger. Let me do that. Irene, I looked up the tasty recipe. Oh, thank you. Just in case, do you already have the butter out of the refrigerator? Recipe calls for room temperature butter, so it's easier to mix for the filling later. Thank you, Silver. Yes, I got that. Wow, I read your message before TTS even got to it. I got so excited. I appreciate you watching out for forward looking of the cooking. Whoa, this is very soothing. This, I, I think I'm making these macarons way too close to each other. We'll get a little further away just in case. Whoopsie. Okay, so these are normal macaroon shapes. Now we're gonna try making donut shaped macaroons. I heard those are really cute and yummy. And now I can totally see how these would make 30 macarons. So for donut shape, you just pipe a circle. This ain't working as, as easy as I thought. Uh oh, that's a very janky circle. Okay, let's try this again. I'm going to, oh, no! I'm going to try to do this slower. I think I'm trying to do it too fast because I realize the tasty recipes, they are just sped up so they're not actually cooking it that quickly. They're doing it slower than it's showing on screen, but so I shouldn't try to match that pace because then I wouldn't be able to make it come out as good. I have to have patience. Macarons require patience. Okay, well, it's getting better. Oh shoot, the holes are closing up. I think I do need to make it, um, not as small of a hole because as it gets flat, it kind of closes up. Okay, I think, uh oh, one more. Let me make a normal one now. Okay. Couple more normal ones, just in case the donut ones don't turn out good. Uh oh, it's harder than I thought to make them into a circular shape. You do have to actually pay attention to how much batter you put into each part of it because it spreads. One more. Okay, there we go. And then you have to tap it. And so for this, I'm going to decrease the volume. Yay! I think that's good enough. Tap the baking sheet on a flat surface five times. I think that was definitely five times to release air bubbles. Let the macarons sit for 30 minutes. So these look good. It's about one. So oh, I will I will say that at 1.30 they will be good. 
case. Now the other sheet for the for the pink and the and the chocolate looking ones. macarons nowadays during your research. Can I have one of the donut macarons? Please, sister. Yes, Yuzashi. You can definitely have one of the rare donut macarons. I wonder how much macarons are. To my memory, they're like three to five dollars a piece. So maybe we should start a macaroon business, guys. We will become which, although I'm not sure with my macro making skills, if we'll be able to get there. Ah, just use a scissor, Irene. There. Yeah, I'm not kidding. It's like three to five dollars per macro, I thought. But still, my. What, what did you find, Phil? What did internet say? Yeah, they can get expensive. Macaroons are one euro per piece in the baker here. Oh, okay, maybe it is definitely more like one euro a piece. Bubblecorn's macaron comes with a white powder safe for the sweets. <laughs> yes! Bubblecorn macaroons come for the white powder safe for the sweets. Oh my gosh, that sounds that sounds a little sketchy, just an assassin. People are going to question what are in these special macarons, but yes, there are definitely white powder in these macarons, but not the white powder you guys are thinking about. They're very pure, pure, innocent white powders. Okay. Let me anchor these down as well. All four corner, put dollop. Okay, hopefully this one goes smoother since we've practiced. We're not gonna do the donuts with these ones. We're just gonna make them just normal circular macaroon shapes. Okay. Get your calm together so that you can pipe good macarons. Pure flour, got it. Oh. Tell me about this white powder, not FBI. Oh man. Mew, I'm innocent. Okay, let me grab white. Let me grab white, um, or not white. <laughs> No, you guys are making me say white. Let me make my hand cold. You know what Dennis and I do sometimes, which is kind of mean, but uh, like I would make my hand really cold like this. Or let's say you're washing your hand and you're really cold. And then I would go up to him and then like put it on his arm and be like, ooh, so cold. And then he would go like, ah! But usually it's the, it's the other way around. But is that just me? Am I evil? I guess that is the Marlene side of me. I can be pretty evil. So watch out. I would run away right now this instant because I have an ice pack on my hand. And when I have this, I have a tendency to want to just go to someone and be like, Ooh, it's so cold. Because if I say it in Korean, so I'm like, Achaga, which means, oh, it's so cold. So you can go to someone and be like, Achaga! That's the Korean tutorial for today. So we're supposed to learn French today. Okay, let's put on some chocolate ones. Call Dennis over, yes. Three to five dollars here for 12. What? Russ, when, where, where is that? I need to rush over there. If it's three to five dollars for 12 macaroons. Okay, this one's a little better. We're gonna space it out better on this one too. Okay. 
Okay. I think these are turning out a little more consistent in size and shape. They're getting too close to each other though. Watch out guys, don't get too close to each other. Social distancing, come on. Ooh, these do smell like chocolate. They smell the best. They smell so good. They smell like little chocolate truffles. Wow, maybe, I, I think we're making more than 30 macaroons. I didn't know this little bit of batter would produce so many macaroons. That's awesome. Except I don't know if we'll have space for all of them. That is the part that is a little concerning. But we'll make it work, we'll make it work. So we're going to make um, different types of macaroons. We're going to try to make a couple that are strawberry looking, a couple that are chocolate looking, but we're also going to make a Neapolitan one, which is a combination of the strawberry and the chocolate one. Woohoo. One last one. Can you make it? Will this produce a full macaroon? Come on. There we go, we squeezed out every last drop of this pipe. Yes, no wasted macaroon. Ah, bubble corn. The bubble wrap crew will keep the secret ingredient secret. MFBI French baking with Irene Club. much better French baking with Eileen Club yes will we gotten hermit will, will be gotten hermit yes we are having a French baking with Eileen oh I guess we have some room over there too so if we run out of the for the strawberry one we can always go to that side with the vanilla ones Now these smell like pretty good too. It smells like vanilla. I wish I had gotten strawberry flavoring, but I couldn't find strawberry extract. I don't know if that's a thing, like vanilla extract, but strawberry flavored. But vanilla is always good. So, oh no, that was a mishap. That was party foul. Almost there. Almost there. Almost done with the strawberry one. Guess we won't need extra space after all. Okay, can we make one last one? Let's see if we can squeeze out one last tiny one. Yay, we made it. Perfect. Okay, hopefully these don't run into each other. I'm a little concerned about these guys over here, but okay, turn down the volume. Okay, turn down the volume, maybe a little more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh. 
Okay. Are you guys, d d are you guys, you're still alive? Oh no, these are kind of running into each other. That's not good. Oh, these are definitely running into each other. That's okay. Sometimes when you get cookies and they run into each other, those are the yummiest. So these will be cookies that will be very good. So these guys went um, like 10 minutes after that one. So we'll keep that in mind. But these are all good to go. So we'll let these air out. Oh, I shouldn't layer them because then they can't air out. And in the meantime, let's eat our crepes. Not eat, we gotta make them first. But let's make our crepes. But how are y'all doing? What, I can't hear you. You can hear me now, right? What, someone beat up Yuzashi? Why? Don't beat up Yuzashi. I am saved. Okay, well, I hope no one beat up Yuzashi, but it sounds like he's been saved. So it seems like all's good. Yay. Okay, let's make a Kool-Aid. <sighs> and while we make our crepe, why not learn some French? I'm gonna grab our vegetables and I'm also going to grab a French video. I can't hear you, I think I'm deaf. Really? I hope you guys can hear. He's okay. Okay, I hope Yuzashi is okay too. I hope Yuzashi, you are okay. Okay, so we have another recipe for uh, the crepe. And this is also from Tasty. Wow, I feel like I have enrolled in the Tasty School of Cooking. He's okay. It's joke because of banging the pan. Ah, I see. <laughs> not real beat up. Oh, okay, those are always the best where it's a play beat up and not a real beat up because real beat ups are, are illegal. Chat can hear you, they're just having fun. I see, okay, good. I would feel so bad if I hurt your ears, but today is very dangerous for your ears day because we've had the pans or the, pa the, the pan banging, the food processor, and the, the, what do you call it? The food processor, oh, and the blender. The blender really sounds like a vacuum, but that's all out of the way, so your ears should be A-OK -okay and safe now. Just checked and I can get 12 luxury macaroons for three pounds. About a five minute walk from my house. Really, Kevin? Where have I been getting macaroons? I've been getting ripped off. Because if you go to downtown and you go to nice macaroon places like Bottega Louis or like even La Durée, the one from France, each macaroon is definitely more than a dollar but maybe i'm misremembering perhaps i am totally misremembering i'm inflating it in my brain i listen to Jeannie every day you can't do anything to hurt my ears oh that that is well hopefully i, I don't know if that's good or, or bad i guess that's not good or maybe that's good in a way that your ears are well like adept so it's like you know how like when you've done a lot of fights or something like you're it's not that you're injured it's just like you can like like adjust to it very quickly so your ears are just adjustable so that's good like you can control the volumes that you hear in your ears maybe i'm making that up too and it's a euphemism <laughs> Ooh! wow wish we could get value macaroons too Koreans love macaroons. Yes, Koreans do love macaroons. I really wish that there were some of you guys in like downtown or in like the LA area and I could just drop off macaroons to you guys because the best part of making a dessert is sharing it with people. Um, boy, I wish I could do that. But I think we can't. Oh no! This is why you have to space out your macaroons. They're sticking together. You know what? Maybe for the pink ones, we'll make pink snowman macaroons. Snowman macaroons. 
My sister lives near you. Surprise macaroons, haha. <laughs> really? Yeah, meowing. I can drop off macaroons. I'll, I'll be a Uber Eats. I'll be a macaroon eats delivery. Bubbles are just hugging. Yeah, I guess bubbles do like to hug, but it's it's actually nice because it's like two, 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 two. So I can kind of stack them together to, oh no, even the chocolate ones are colliding. They'll be snowmen. They'll be snowman macaroons. But that's why they say space out your macaroons because in this process, they start coming together. They're fusing into giant macaroon. Watch out. Yeah. They might come together and become a giant macaroon and eat you! And take revenge for all the macaroons you've been eating. Okay, let us make the macaroon, or oh not macaroon, uh, the crepe batel. We are going to make some crepe, crepe batel. I wish I could take get some of these macaroons, but it would take a 10 hour flight. Oh no, wood lark! Snowman and snow <laughs> Yes, the pink ones can be snow women and the brown ones can be snow men. I like your nails. Aw, thank you. I just did them right before stream. And actually, I today totally miscalculated time. So I thought I had had an extra hour before stream. But it was like 30 minutes before stream. So I was like, oh my gosh. Every time you make any loud noise on stream chat, we'll joke about ear deaf or ear blind. Aha! Uh -huh. I like ear blind. It sounds really funny. It sounds funny. Okay, to a bowl. Mix the flour, eggs, half a cup of milk, salt until smooth. Okay, well, we're very, very good at mixing now. So, we shall do that. Let's mix in... How much flour? One cup of flour. Okay. One cup of flour, please. Okay, one cup of flour. Good. One cup of flour. your nose itch every time you touch flour it's like it's just asking for it flour gravitates towards your nose so that you end up with flour on your nose somehow your nose always gets itchy as you touch flour oh my back did you just hear that my back oh oh it cracked um what was i doing oh flour eggs i need three eggs please We have three eggs right here. Three eggs. Wah! You are not the egg shell. What crack? You don't bust me, I don't bust you. Are people busting each other now? I see cops. You guys seem to be doing some sketchy stuff over there. Some sketchy, sketchy stuff over there. Okay, three eggs, half a cup of milk. Okay, let's grab some milk. Oh, here is milk. milk we got on accident because we ordered water on Amazon Fresh and they accidentally gave us a jug of milk. Um, but this seems fine. March. What's well, this by March 8th? Oh, we're not in March yet. We're in February. I thought we were in March all for a second. Half a cup of milk. Salt. Where are you, salt? How much salt? 
No, officer, I did not assassinate him. It was a surprise hug. Oh, so cute! Just an assassin. Well, we'll let you off with a warning. The next time you give a hug, you gotta give, uh, give a heads up. You can't surprise people. They might get little heart attacks. Up oh, joy. Just an assassin. We'll let you go this time with a warning. Okay, so it's asking for a pinch of salt. That's the part I struggle with the most, what a pinch means, because everyone has different sized fingers and different pinches, but we're gonna try doing a pinch. Okay, pinch. Pinch? That seems way too little. Be a little bit more. I mean, I don't have very big fingers, so, you know, it might not be enough. Okay, so mix until it's smooth. Whoa, this is gonna be a very orange crepe. Deadly huggles, yes. I always love your huggles gifs on Discord. They're so cute. Like the ghost hugs, virtual hug, or like, I am hugging you, just can't feel it because I'm a ghost. Surprise comp. <laughs> yeah, surprise hugs are so nice. I actually, and I think the best type of hug is a back hug. Because those that come by surprise. And then it gives you butterflies in your tummy. Although, don't, don't do back hugs to any, to just like anyone. Only do back hugs to your significant other. Probably, or, or actually to your siblings are okay because Jeannie and I have definitely gotten back hugs, but it's more of like, I'm sorry, hero hug kind of thing. So I guess back hugs work when you're um, giving your significant other a hug or if you're um, in a sorry situation. My hugs giving today is from a safe distance. That's also a good idea. I guess we're in a Rona environment, so no hugs. No wonder my nap felt weird. I missed a month. What did you do all of March? Oh no, you saw she. Yes, I skipped a month. This is so weird because this crepe is very orange. It looks like I added food coloring. Like I added orange food coloring, but I really didn't. So go to a random stranger and give a back hug. Got it. No, solo switch. Don't go to a random stranger that would not be good don't give anyone a hug these days for now for the time being we will give virtual hugs give ghost hugs give virtual hugs those are the best hugs currently it's the hot it's the hot um trending hug these days the virtual hug okay it is not super smooth at the moment but that's okay, we can put run this through a sieve. So we do that and then add remaining milk and mix again until the batter is thin and smooth. Okay, where's the milk? Oh, I put it back in the fridge. Okay, we need to put in a cup of milk. Cup. I don't have enough arm power. It's a cup of milk to our orange crepe batter, very strange color. Okay. Whoa, this looks very liquidy, but I think crepes are supposed to be liquidy. Well, I guess Irene was the assassin. Poor orange. Oh no, but I didn't assassinate no orange. I just been assassinating eggs. And strangely got an orange hue. Can't break social distance when you're forever alone. No, you're not forever alone. You've got us. Water sips might be doable for challenge points. Channel points, not challenge points. Ooh, that's a good one. I never drink water. 
Yeah, because I drink a lot of coffee. And it would be good for you guys to sip water too. Okay, this looks way too watery, but I guess this is how crepe batter is supposed to be. We're gonna put this aside. And then we're going to grab the filling. This one is going to be a Swiss and Swiss cheese and ham with mushroom and spinach. So we just need to cut a little bit of mushrooms. Dennis doesn't like the, the little, um, Dennis doesn't like the little foot of the mushroom. Although I think that's supposed to be like a healthy part and a savory part, right? Maybe some of you guys are getting angry now that I'm cutting off the foot of the mushrooms. Now they have no legs. They can't run away. Off with their heads. Oh no. But we're only using their heads actually for this one. Okay, mushrooms are washed. figure out so I think these guys are gonna be ready to go into the oven in a little bit so let me preheat the oven let the macaroon sit uh, preheat the oven to 300 degrees okay let's do that you guys be right here shoot over mess Finish cutting the mushrooms. Whoops. There we go. Is there a practical reason the knife has holes in it? That's a great question, Koiwab. I wonder why. Does anyone know why the knife has holes in it? Maybe it makes it lighter, more stealthy. Why does the knife have holes in it? I have no idea. Okay, our mushrooms are cut and shall we go to the fire to start making our crepes? I'm starving y'all oh, no we don't i am so very hungry everybody let us go to the fire to be able to cook our our um our mushrooms our crepe over here to the fire and hope everything goes smooth because we've not been having as smooth a ride this week uh, okay let me do this slowly 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 okay good Part is good thus far. Perfect. And now you 
just gotta make it over to the other side. Without pulling anything. Thank you for the fun stream, I earned. We oh. have some more funds to treat things for some boba or coffee slash Oh, Hope thank you, Jose. Thank you, Father. Thank you so much for stopping by. Hope you have a wonderful, wonderful weekend. Goodbye. I if you're not aware, you have the most wholesome stream and chat on Twitch. We are all just bubbles hugging. Oh, what we got in Hermit? I do agree. I think, I think chat is so nice to be part of here. Everyone's so nice. We need hustles. Hot. But thank you, seriously, so much, everyone, for being nice in chat and part of a group of people that are so fun to talk to. I feel like every time I look at chat, I don't got to be scared. It's always all happiness and goodness. Which is why I love going on Discord, too, to talk to to catch up with you guys on days we don't have stream too because you guys are just such nice nice people over here okay so what was i getting oh pan pan i got thrown off by that sweet sweet comment We haven't been to the fire in a while. I guess it's because last week we were outside on the patio, and so now it feels weird to be back inside on the fire, on the grill. Let's turn on the fire. Should probably not do that with a wooden board right next to it. Probably not the safest move. So don't do that if you're, if you're next to the fire. document our process over here. Oh, it's so dark. Oh, there we go. We've lightened it up. Can you guys see? Maybe I grew taller. Oh, you can see. Good. Oh, this is done. No more power washing. They're washing our garage, but that is done. This is heating up. the spinach but it says it's already been triple washed it's just washed and ready to eat and it looks pretty good so I have too many things in the sink to be able to wash it so I'm gonna oh I need to move the camera a little oh I don't need to move the camera I just move this whoa Irene you've learned to be smarter you used to go all the way to the camera to move that I don't know why I didn't think about this now I know. There we go. There's my agenda that you guys see, but I will let you guys see a little bit of the plant instead. And this is all heated up. Let's turn this heat down a little bit and grill our veggies. You guys can hear much better now, hopefully. Where'd my knife go? Oh, here. I think the recipe 
did call for some onions. So we add some onions. Fire! Yes, it is on fire. Yeah, sizzle actually makes it sound like rain, where you can just be comfy, so comfy. Man, when I was drawing the comfy emo, I was sitting on my couch, and I was drawing it, and I was like testing it out, because I was like, oh, how is this supposed to look? And I was like, oh man, this is so comfy, I, I wish I could stream like this every day, just poke out your head in your little blanket, that would make you so nice and warm and smooth. Smelling those mushrooms coming alive with the, 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 you know the mushroom flavor? I don't know how to say if it's umami or whatnot, but it, it has that mushroom flavor coming out now. Add some spinach. smelling very savory. It's going to be a very, yes, shroomy flavor meowing. It's going to be a savory, shroomy, spinachy, delicious crepe. There's going to be ham in this too, so it's going to be really good. You can stream like that if you want. <gasps> I guess I could, MZ1000, but if I stream like that, I might catch on fire with all these fires that's going on, and I might be powdered with flour. What was that? Oh, the oven's ready. And I think, I think the macaroons, well, the timing is great. This is how I planned it in the agenda. Um, I think the macaroons are ready. Let me go grab them. Ugh. You're supposed to have this little skin that is formed. Oh, I'll show you guys here. A little skin. not formed really well. It's, I feel like we have to make it sit a second. Mm, I'm not sure. Wait, is it supposed to be very, very soft? Because, I mean, maybe I'm supposed to be more gentle. I mean, it does have a skin. It doesn't get on my hand. Maybe it's okay. Maybe it's okay. Maybe I'll let it sit for a little bit longer. Maybe I'll let it sit for just a little bit longer. And this is all done. Okay, good. Put it over here. ready. I think the crepes should be okay. I think the crepes will be okay. It will start off soft. Should harden up a little. Really? You guys think if I put it into the oven right now, it'll be too, too quick? I did say 30 minutes, which it's been around 35, 40 minutes. Um, so maybe it's okay. Maybe it's okay. Maybe I'll put it into the oven. 
and then see how it goes. Maybe it's like a little more humid in here than it's supposed to be because they're supposed to be dried out, but ooh, maybe we'll just try it. Yeah, we'll just try it. I'm going to, I'm going to put it in. I need to put it in for 20 minutes, right? Is this the recipe? It says, um, bake the macaroons for 17 minutes until the feet are well risen and the macaroon don't stick to the parchment paper. Okay, so 17 minutes. Oh shoot, it says I need to transfer to wire rack, which I don't have. Do I have? Don't believe I have. Hmm. Oh, I do, I do, I do. Oh, but I don't need to grab it now. Let me check the, the strawberry and the chocolate ones and see if those are ready to put into the oven as well. And then if they are, we'll put them in. We need to wait a little longer. So we'll turn this off for a little bit. In the meantime, let's make a clips. Okay. So grab a larger pan. There we go. And let me bring over the crepe. Oh. Tree fell. to grab a ladle and we're gonna cook the crepes. Hmm, I feel like I should put the macaroon in just because it has been a bit of time and it has been 30 minutes and I need it to cool to be able to assemble it so I'm just going to put it in and hope for the best. 300. timer for 17 minutes which I don't have a phone if anyone could set a timer for 17 minutes that would be much appreciated I believe that would be I can't Mia okay when it reaches 155 I'm gonna remember that 155 okay this is well heated I believe a little bit of water too much butter. It's okay. More butter the better. Okay, let's cook our first crate. situation over here. So maybe a little more right here. Repair the crepe. Okay, this, this is a little bit of a janky crepe, but that's okay. 
This is our first crepe. And then once it bubbles, we'll flip it over. Never too much butter. Yes, Tibu. Never too much butter. We're doing French cooking. Exactly. You could to love butter. It is essential for French cooking. I don't know if that's true or not, but let's just say for today, it is. I wonder how many of us just set timers. Oh, well, Grim Soul Reaper, I hope you did because you said you did. So I'm going to, depending on you, Grim Soul Reaper, for the macarons to not burn. Well, not burn! I really do like Irene's outfit today. Aw, thank you! Thank you, Adam. I appreciate it. It's a little sweater and it's a little flower. This is actually the skirt that I wore during the last stream with Jeannie. Channel point redemption. Irene, hug the one who redeems points. Oh! I could do that! It's be like, Jay Blair, I dedicate this hug to you! And then... And then you'll be right here. How do you give a virtual hug? This way? This way? Are you right-handed or left-handed? You, When you give hugs to people, you have to coordinate because if you hug a left-handed person and you're going in this way and they're also going in this way, then it becomes an awkward situation. So I hope you're right-handed and we're both doing the right hug. Huggles! Air hug! Oh, right, I was making a crepe. I totally forgot I was making a crepe. <laughs> as in like the situation that happened because I'm impressed by the situation too that this made it I'm so happy I am so happy at Lost for Woods Wowzers okay so to this what we do is we add cheese and ham Swiss cheese where'd you get it? here we go so I brought I bought fresh ham the deli as well as Swiss cheese today and we are going to just assemble it where we lay a layer of cheese down okay whoa that's a thick piece of cheese and then lay some ham down okay to match the cheese we're gonna put two layers of ham And then we have to put on an egg. I forgot that part. So we're gonna just switch this up and drop in an egg. We're gonna fry up. Oh shoot, I should have saved those eggs that I tossed earlier. The eggs, poor eggs. I could have used them right here. They died. Oh, a sad cause. They could have totally become fried eggs right here because we need fried eggs. Bad Irene. Bad, bad. Why'd you toss those eggs? I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. I'm guilty as charged. I didn't mean to. It was just, it was happening so quickly and I really didn't know what to do. It's like when my face is camouflaged. I really didn't know what to do. I was not on purpose, I swear. If I could, if I could just go back in time, I would have never tossed those eggs. I apologize. Rest in peace, wasted eggs. May came to like commemorative emote suggestion. Ha ha. <laughs> that would be cute. I love egg related um 
what do you call it, like emotes or egg related characters. Like, do you guys know Gudetama? He's so cute. The lazy egg. The eggs are gonna rest well in egg heaven. Amen. Okay. Let's make these eggs. For fried eggs, don't pop the egg yolks. That's the important part. Oh no, we've got an egg shell in there, but it was rescued. Okay, and the last one. Perfect. Full fried eggs. I don't know why I'm making so many, but that's what the recipe calls for. And grab the lid. and it'll become a fancy, savory French crepe. How's the meal coming today? The meal's coming good. It's coming along good. The dessert, questionable. But the meal, good. I'm kind of scared. Redeem points, Irene say, ayaya, ayaya, ayaya. I could, because I actually saw a suggestion on, um, or a, a, a emote prototype from MZ. That's an ayaya emote. I'm so excited to show you guys as we eat. Okay, the eggs are done. Turn this off and grab an egg. so that you can come on to our... No, let go! Oh, shoot! You decide to flip over. You're like, I'm not gonna let go! And you decide to flip over. That's okay. We'll just take your friend then. Oop. Okay, there we go. So you put on the egg like that. And you fold over the sides. Like that. Where you only show the egg yolk. And it's an envelope. Ta -da. And please, it's supposed to be like an envelope. Okay. 
and Baba Lou Chan Kong. Thank you, Grim Soul Reaper. I appreciate it. I should check what it looks like, right? I'm kind of scared. I'm not going to open it because they said don't open, but oven light on. Moment of truth. because uh, I don't think we let it rest long enough, but they're puffing up, so that's a good sign. Okay, there was crepe number one. So this one is ready to go. Wow, it's a heavy guy. It's a heavy little beef. the plate. Good. And he's going to go into the oven in a little bit with his brother. We're going to make another one so that Dennis can have one too. Okay. Second crepe. Here we go. Second crepe always usually turns out better, but I'm a little worried because the first one turned out so good that I feel like the second one might not. because we already have a little bit of butter in the pan. Four minutes, puff, puff, three minutes. Almost three minutes for me. Okay, okay, so I'll have to take it out in about three minutes. I'm ready for this. In that three minute, I will cook one more crepe. Oh shoot, this crepe is not good. This crepe is not good. It has a lot of flour mixture popping up here and there. It's gonna taste a little like flour, but that's okay. Okay, three minutes. Um, three minutes, okay, three minutes. I'm ready. Yep, three minutes left. I'm ready for the moment of truth. Oh, I'm, I'm nervous that this might not look as beautiful as it should. Three minutes. Okay, I need to get the rack that it will dry on. I've got that ready too right here. Oops. Oops. Okay, should I do it? Two minutes. Okay, two minutes. Two minutes, okay. Why does two minutes feel like an eternity when you're waiting for that perfect second? Feels like it's been already five minutes. Whoops, this one's sticking. Okay, two minutes, still good, two minutes. seconds okay 60 seconds well thank you so much for keeping count 60 seconds one minute okay I'll flip this in the meantime Ooh, this one looks a little less cooked so it needs to but gotta put cheese and ham on One minute check. Okay. Two pieces of ham. We'll be 
not for a while. Should I take it out now? Take it out! Okay, 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 take it out. Okay, here we go. Okay, here we go, take it out! Nothing like a macaroon though. <gasps> oh no, it doesn't look like a macaroon. Look, but they look cute nonetheless. Okay, let's take them out. <sighs> okay, where to put them? Should have probably determined that before I took them out. But they look pretty cute. Here, I'll show you guys over here. This is what these look like. And the snowman. Yes, the snowman and snowwoman. Some became three snowmen, snowwoman. <laughs> That's kind of cute. Yay! I, I would say this is not a horrible, this isn't a complete failure. This is kind of a reasonable success. Okay, so let me put this down real quick. Then. Ah, oh, thank you. Thank you for helping keep time. Um. Marshmallow puffs, yes. They kind of do look like marshmallow puffs. Okay, let me finish making this crepe and then we will assemble. Oh, and then we will cool down our, our guys. Our, um, what do you call it? The macarons. Okay, this one is also done. This one is for Dennis. burning so I turn off the fire. Fold, last fold, or the side fold. Good food. Oops. This one's not sticking as well. Okay, other side fold. I think I got too greedy with this one and filled it to the top too much, but it's okay. It's nice to have an overflowing, overflowing, um, crepe. Overflowing crepes are good. Where do I put the other, other plate? Oh, I put it down there. Right. Okay. Let's do one at a time. Let's take you off the fire. Good. Off the fire is good. And then let's... <gasps> the macarons are sticking. I don't think they're all done yet. The macarons I think are not fully done yet because it's still sticking. So I guess I have to put it back in the oven for a little bit. Yeah, cooling rack on the trash. Oh yeah, cooling rack is on the trash. <laughs> Oopsie. I need to put this back in real quick. Because it's not cooked all the way. Let's see, are these done? Maybe I just need to let them cool a little bit so I just need to transport them to a cooling rack, like you guys did. Okay, so cooling rack. Open up the cooling rack. Uh, this is, let them cool. Yeah, letting them cool would be a good idea. Okay, this is actually a barbecue grill. It's not a cooling rack, but we're just going to settle with this. We don't have a fancy cooling rack over here. Because I forgot to get one. Um, where? I think so. Wow, it is becoming a chaotic kitchen very quickly. Don't know how it turned to a chaos kitchen that quickly. I felt like everything was going great. Everything was going well. And then next thing I know, it's chaos. Okay, there's one snowman. Second snowman. Oh, these smell good though, but they look so cute. They're like little snowmen. <laughs> uh oh. These smell sick. Just trying to 
gonna put them on the clone rack. But they're all stuck together because they love each other. You guys all want to just go on the clone rack together then? Oh no! Make up your minds. Oh shoot! 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 Okay, you guys need to go back on the clone rack. Maybe I'll just have to do this with my hand. Okay. Oh, I need like 20 million hands. I wish all of you guys could be here right now to give me a hand because I is in a struggle. I like have this and then I'm like trying to take this out of the oven. Okay. We can do this. Wah! We almost lost the macarons. I think we can disassemble these. Okay. Yes, we can. They're kind of soft still. So we will try one. <gasps> they taste like little brownies. They're actually really soft and chewy on the inside. It's really soft and chewy on the inside. It, it's very, it's very delicious. Other than not having feet, they're pretty well-made little macarons. Let me do this over here. Let me do the white ones on the colon rack first. Because those are all separated, so it'll be easier to put them on the colon rack. They look just like normal cookies because they don't have feet. But other than that difference, it is, look, even the bottom. Looks like a macaroon. It's pretty successful. It just, it, it they would have grown feet had they waited for like another 10 seconds or so. But, but other than that, they taste good. They taste good. It's your chef's chest. Run away. I'm just transporting you to the colon rack. It's gonna be good. It's gonna be, it's gonna be nice and chill. You're just gonna chill over here. On top of the crate. There we go, there we go. Getting with the program. Okay, cool. Strawberry and chocolate ones on the cold rack too. I don't know if I need to though. They're, they look like they're doing just fine over here. So maybe I don't need to. Maybe I can let them just rest over here. I'll just break the ones that need to be separated. Oh, I think the point of a cooling rack is so that it stops baking because if it stays on the baking sheet, it might keep baking. I think that's the point of a cooling rack. That's okay. Okay, we're good. We're good. This is good enough. And 
I'm just going to put Dennis's over here into the oven so it stays warm in an oven safe plate. Because Dennis is going to come home soon, hopefully. Okay, there. <coughs> Hold over, please. Okay, shall we grab some food while we fill up the cookie and also look at Discord and multitask like crazy. I don't know where the time went. I don't know how we're at this point where I had everything in my agenda where we're gonna do one at a time and one at a time. And then next thing you know, we're down to our last hour. I don't even know if I need fillings for this. This is kind of just good as it is, like a cookie rather than a macaroni sandwich. Mmm, this is really good. Hi! No panic, Irene. <gasps> Thank you, Silver. Silver's chat voice is so calm all the time that even if I'm in the most chaotic of situations, if Zilver says it's fine, no panic, then it's okay. Everything is fine. Okay, let's put this in the fridge. And let's bring you guys back over to eat because you guys must be starving. I feel so bad for making you guys be starving. Okay, I'm gonna try not to show you guys the, uh, what do you call it, the sink, because it is quite scary looking right now. So, oh, let me just show you the food. Right here. Oh, yes. Put some parsley flakes. Look good? Doesn't it look delicious? That looks so good. Oh, thank you. I'm so happy you guys think it looks good. I'm going to bring a chair. How is this working? How are you working? Oh, there we go. Now let me shift you over. Are you like that? Do I have the fire on? Okay, I, I have to like check that everything is, like the fire is off and everything because I don't trust myself. <gasps> Yay, I really like the black plate too. Oh, thank you. This plate is oven safe, so actually this, this whole thing was supposed to go into the oven, but um, I think I was able to cook a fair bit while it was out, so we don't need to go and do an extra step to add it to the oven. Okay, I'm going to take a quick picture of it, because last week was so much chaos that I didn't get to <laughs> upload anything on our Instagram page. So let's take a quick picture. How do I take a picture? How do I take a picture? Oh. Ah, there we go. And let's eat. Let's eat, boys. Let's eat and bon appetit. for all yes I would try it if it was close enough for me to grab oh here you go grab some sir grab a bite 
I'll cut a bite for you guys. Okay. Some ham and cheese in here. Can I have a bite, please? Swiss cheese is such a good combination. Yay! Looks really good. Oh, yay! I kind of want to go with a mushroom too. Mm hmm. I don't know if this is the best place to cut plate to cut on. Oh, and Swiss cheese is much more melted in here too. There's a mushroom. Looks awesome. Ooh! Mushroom is a star player. It's so good. Lucky I ain't there, Irene. It be gone as soon as it hits the plate. <laughs> it's okay, Dragon Lair. I have two, so you can take that one. Ooh, that hit the spot. Yay! We're Dennis sure. Mm. Dennis went to go get his car taken care of, so um, he's not here at the moment. So if you guys want to take his, I won't tell him. I don't think he's here. Yeah, he's definitely not here. Because if he was here, then I'm sure he'd be coming out and saying, where's my food? Where's my food? Looks tasty. Here, I'll give you guys one more bite before we go on to other adventures. Here's another bite. No. Hmm. Kind of want hot sauce on it too. Which hot sauce? Chipotle Tabasco hot sauce. This is my favorite hot sauce. I don't know what your guys' favorite hot sauce is, but the Tabasco Chipotle hot sauce. I tried this first at Chipotle, and it was so good. So tasty, sister. I love it. Thank you. Yay, Yuzashi. Maybe I'll give you guys a bite with hot sauce on it. Ooh, look at that drizzle. There we go. Ooh, we need to do the egg pop. Yay, there is the egg oozing. Okay, that was not as epic. I probably did not do that properly, but there, the egg is oozing. This might get a bit messy then, I guess. So maybe it won't look as appetizing. There is egg oozing and cheese oozing. Oh my goodness. Egg and cheesy goodness. You, this bite's for you. The yummiest bite. The yolk, the center of the yolk with some mushrooms and cheese. This is the yummiest bite. I'm, I dedicate it to you guys. Here you go. Yum. Yay. Okay, so with that, let me pull up while we eat. Let's look at Discord. This is my first time showing Discord on stream. So I'm excited. Let me scroll to the right chat. Um, 
hopefully it's still there. I'm nervous with, um, oh, I did shut down. Shoot. Okay. Let me try adding this again. Okay. And window capture. Please let Discord be there. Okay, it's there! Yay! Okay, just a second. Okay, so just got to make this a bit smaller so everyone can see. Yay! Yes, we're all here. And see, this is a chat where it was a suggestion box. So first of all, I would like to say a huge thank you to Zilver because all of this that you see on Discord, like all the chat boxes and all of like the channels and all of all of that, Zilver created. So thank you so much, Zilver, for creating a beautiful, beautiful Discord server that we can have so much fun on and all the channels. So for those of you guys who are new to the Bubbly Bay channel, we have a Bubbly Corn Discord. And um, all you gotta do if you wanna join is click the read to enter and so you just click this thumbs up sign and then you can get in but I guess the majority of you are already in but yeah if you go here we have several chats in the bubbly bay which has the bubble wrap chat we have a cooking chat crafting workout and a suggestions box and so in the suggestions box which is where I was just on we got so many cute cute emotes like after last stream because I tried drawing a um I tried drawing a chibi character and it did not work that great. It was so much harder than I thought. I was actually going to draw more today following the tutorial that Necro sent, except um, I feel like we're running out of time, so we might not get to that today. But these were definitely really great inspirations. So thank you so much for sharing. This one is from Rake or Hoofy. So cute if i click it will you guys be able to see it oh you can yeah isn't this so cute he drew it on real paper and then it's like the bubble this is so cute i really love it it's just this is the sharpest bubbly corn unicorn horn i have ever seen so i feel like this one would definitely definitely pop bubbles but it's so cute i really like i'm going to use these this for inspiration for sure when I try to draw new emotes especially with like the hood and like the movement and everything like you are so pro I don't know how you do it but it's so cute and I don't know how you did this so fast so basically in that in those two hours that I um what is it I I made a super janky like chibi character attempt that was very 2d um Brygor Hoofy made one, two, three, four, five, six, seven emote prototypes. Very blown away. And then, oh, I love Dragon Lair suggestion. This might not work in the form of an emote, but just this concept was so cute. So Dragon Lair said, here's a suggestion for a raid emote. Irene riding a unicorn into battle, if it can fit. I guess it won't be able to fit here, but just the concept of that, imagining riding a unicorn sounds so cool. If I could ever ride a unicorn or meet a unicorn in real life, that would be so awesome. I just joined your Discord. Po Pokey Pony Dullest is my screen name there. Oh, that's so cute. Pokey Pony Dullest. Thank you for joining the Discord. Um, and then this one, Nick. Runyon 616. I think Nick Runyon is a professional artist. This looks so epic. Like, it looks like this bubblicorn 
personnel is a full-on spy and that glue gun attention to detail it definitely looks like a glue gun and not a gun because every time i try to draw something that's in some sort of gun like shape comes out wrong but this one's so cute it's like oh that's you webhead really ah yay this is so cute I, you are so artistically talented and i don't know how but like it's a still image Yet you kind of captured, like, I could totally see the action. Like, dun, 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 It looks like it's moving. It looks like it's like, oh, God, I have a glue gun, and I'm not scared to use it. And glue guns are dangerous, we all know. So, yeah, thank you so much for sending it. It is very, very fierce looking. Looks incredible. Yes. This one's so cute. It's Matrix. Not a chibi artist, but thought I'd jump in and make this based off your design today. It is so cute! It is a hype emote, and it is like, it's like doing a double dab, which is very appropriate because I don't know how to do a dab, so it's like, hype! It's like, both ways dab. It's like, hype! 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 It's so cute. And then the hair, the hair gradation thing, like, you... Capture the hair like very spot on. I don't know how you do that. And then all the shading and shadowing. I don't know how you do it, but you are definitely an artiste to be able to cover all that. And the unicorn, the bubbly corn, like the head on the hood. Wow, attention to detail. You guys are so talented. I don't know how you guys just like whip these things up so quickly. Or maybe it wasn't quickly, but... Oh, I didn't... Oh yeah, and then this is the more finalized one. So cute! This one doesn't even have a color on it yet, and it also and it looks good already. I just need another bite. Hmm. This makes me want to go to like pencil and paper again. So good. Mm! This one's another one. It's so this one's the I I I emote. I think that's what it's supposed to do. But I think I I is synonymous with happy, right? Yeah, it's like that I I I emote. This is so cute. I think for the Ayaya emo, you definitely have to have closed eyes and you have to be cheering and have some blushies on the cheek. I really, this is a very good, a good um, thing to follow for, I realized like for the cheeks for chibi characters, you have to do lines and you can't put like a blush or you don't have to do lines, but the lines actually make it look even more chibi and animated. This one's so cute. I keep staring at it. It's so cute. And then this is the unicorn. Oh, yeah, yeah. So this is the unicorn that Dragon Lair drew. And it says raid. That would be so cool if I could ride a unicorn. Well, I don't know how to ride a horse. But if I did know how to ride a horse, I would definitely get a unicorn. Yeah. And then, ah, uh, by rigor, Hoofy also had a... One where, oh, how is that one smaller? But it's where it's blowing the bubbles with the bubbly one, like. And I really want to follow this one too. The facial expression of how you make the mouth look like it's like blowing on a bubble is very, very impressive. What do you guys think of all of these so far? There's more. There's a couple more too, but. I was so happy looking at these and I got so sidetracked that what, what oh yeah I got so sidetracked that I, I really needed to take a nap but nap was far and gone by the time I was looking at these and then what else these are so good oh yeah yeah that was me saying I can't wait to share and um I think there were a couple more in the stuff for Irene one Look, this is a whole body one! 
This one's not an emote. These are art, but this is so cool. It's like a bubbly corn with a bubbly corn font. And if I had a real, what do you call it? A horn sticking out of my head, then that would look like that. And it has a bubble wrap crew, uh, what do you call it? Necklace. I have a blinger right here. Bubble wrap crew. And I will be bubble wrapping, wrapping for you. <laughs> that was really bad rap, but this reminded me of, I think this is supposed to be more of like a rap type of image of the bubbly corn. So that's very cool. Briar Gore. Oh, Briar Gore. This is the one that was done a long time ago, says Briar Gore. Wow, so cute, so talented. Oh, and this one I'm carrying two stuff I love. I'm carrying Genie right here in the form of a, of a um, panda queen as a potastic pea panda with boba. The two things I love the most because the boba has bubbles in it, which are you guys. So it has those both of those things and I'm there. And then, wow, the attention to detail on the, the shirt. That is quite amazing. Oh, you know, I think that shirt that you drew is the top. I have a matching top for this that I wore to Genie's stream. Um, it's this pattern. Wow, full circle. Every, everything coming full circle. And then... <laughs> this one just made me so happy. CA Max. It was a speed run in seven minutes. This... You know how there's those doodles where it's just like some squiggles, but those squiggles are put in a way where it just cheers you up and makes you so happy? This is so cute. It's like, yeah. It's very cute. Adorbs Comics. California Mix. And this is the tutorial that Necro sent, which is, if I click into it, Oh, then you guys won't be able to see it because it will take me off of Discord. But yeah, I was going to follow this tutorial and try drawing it again after Thursday's stream. To be um, super honest, I was like a little, a little, what do you call it? A little d discouraged because I was like, oh man, chibi characters are so hard to draw. And um, I feel like I totally messed it up and then it looks so bad and i don't even know if a bubbly corn can be animated and i was going down the spiraling down into negative thoughts but then i saw all of these characters and they're so cute so thank you so much for sharing yeah they're so cute i hope i can definitely make some of these into emotes i just need to get them into 3D format, or not 3D format, I need to just color them up and then make them into squares, if that's okay with you guys, and then and then have them as emotes. I'm so excited. Yay. Yay, I'm feeling the ay 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 Okay, one more bite and we're gonna move on to dessert. Whoops. I love this plate, but seriously, I, the, the only thing is the scratching part. This is really good. I think this is one of the more successful, successful bites. Hmm. Oh, Mexicans, you're from New York, not California. Oh. <laughs> Thanks again, everyone. Yes, yeah, seriously, Silver. Thank you so much for submitting all of these. You guys are seriously very very so artistically talented and cheerful they talented like making art look so cheerful and happy is a skill yay mm. this is so good the food is so good Okay, with that, let's 
we're going to move on to the dessert. Let's make the dessert. Okay, okie dokie. Let me put away the food. It will show very good. Let's be, look how much I devoured. Wow. And I'm gonna devour more, even more later. But we have to save room for the dessert. The dessert. Okay. So it looks like these guys have cooled. And we just need to fill them so that they become fully born macarons. Okay. So here are the shells and we need to make the filling. Oh no, the donut ones became totally like not donut-y at all. The donut hole is so small. So small, small, but hopefully it tastes good. Let me try one of the white ones to see. No, nope. Okay, fine. I was gonna say we'll save them, but let's just try one. So this is a small one. Bottom looks pretty good. It is soft and chewy on the inside. I'm telling you, other than it not having feet, so it feels like it's short, the taste and the texture of the inside and everything is A+. plus. So I would highly recommend that tasty recipe. I will post it on Discord or somewhere. Mmm. There are now belly button macarons instead. Vishal Chanders, hi, hello. Good morning. Okay, um, so let me make the filling. So for the chocolate one, we're gonna make the filling with chocolate ganache. For the strawberry one, we're gonna, we're gonna make some of the fillings with the marshmallow fluff as well. So let me break apart these cookies because we have we have the um, strawberry and chocolate ones over here as well. What was that? They actually break about pretty easily. So you don't have to be worried too much that they stuck together. You don't have to be too sad. I mean, they don't look as nice as if they were perfectly broken from the start, but that's okay. They got to hold hands for a little bit. They got to bond in the oven. Okay, let's see. So the recipe is one cup of butter, three cups of powdered sugar, one teaspoon. Oh man, the tasty recipe <laughs> is pretty. Um, it's a lot, it's a lot, a lot of butter. So I'm gonna try to do the chocolate ganache one first because I think that'll be the least buttery and a little bit of, um, it, it will be, it will kind of balance out the sweetness. So I got chocolate over here. Let me put this away real quick. We're gonna get some heavy cream. have equal parts chocolate and heavy cream to make this chocolate ganache filling. Yay. Oh, please open without ruining my nails. I just did my nails today. Really hate doing this, but. Usually people, my teeth are unrelenting and I'm able to open everything, but today this cream doesn't want to open. There we go. Okay, 
so let's put in a two thirds cup of heavy cream. Perfect. The Invisible Man has arrived. Hmm, that's not good for your teeth. Don't do that. Okay, Jay Blair. My mom thanks you. My teeth thank you. I will not do that going forward. Um, I'm going to microwave this real quick. than mine. Look, guys. I should take a picture of this one. But it's okay. Okay, let me grab some hot sauce for him. Pork and nut. in the chocolate so that it gets warm and melt it so I'll do that Poised. since I did half a cup of cream I need half a cup of sugar He likes, and this will melt for 30 seconds. Uh -huh. Gotcha. I got here really late because I was sleeping. That's good, Phoenix Dirt Prince. Weekends, you should definitely sleep in. You guys should catch up on sleep. I've been realizing that a lot recently because I've been lacking sleep. <sighs> and that's all good. But sometimes when you sleep too much, it's not good because then, like, you don't sleep as deeply because you're just kind of like quality sleep. Quality sleep, that's what's good. Go sleep, Irene. <laughs> yeah, I actually, I got to sleep a bit last night, a little bit. But it, when I say I didn't get much sleep, it's very different from you guys. I'm the type of person who needs, like, seven to eight hours of sleep every day. I think a lot of people can survive off of like much shorter amount of sleep. I used to be able to do that in high school. I would think like four hours of sleep is great and I'd be really confused when people are like, oh, I didn't get to sleep, I only got five hours. And I'm like, what, what, that's plenty of sleep. And I didn't get it, but yeah, I don't know how I used to do that. How much do you guys sleep? I get six hours a night, really? Three is enough? Yuzashi, it's because you're still young. When you get into, I do about four to five hours a night. Okay, maybe it's all of you guys are. I go about two to three days with no sleep. Really, Jay Blair? 
Record is 13 after. Record is 13 after a long night. That's pretty good. I my record is like 20 20 hours I think, because I had I was studying and I stayed up like I think two and a half nights straight with only like 15 minute power naps for like two and a half days for finals. You can tell I was a crammer, and then so I had to, I slept like 20 hours. My mom thought I had to go to the doctor or something. Five hours today, I got like 10 hours. Oh, a teal story that makes me so happy. 10, haha, <laughs> nine. I sleep at 1 p.m., wake up at 6 p.m., I think. That's it, five hours? Six for me. Oh, you guys sleep so little. Okay, so I guess I'm the one who sleeps a lot, huh? I'm a kind of four to six kind of guy myself. Most I've slept was 26. 26, wow. Do comas count? If so, I've got you beat. I don't think comas would count, but wow. That's pretty intense. Um, But you guys sleep so little. Eight to 10 here. Okay, Ori for Fukuna. I, I think, yeah, eight to 10, eight. Yeah, I, I feel like that's that's kind of the, because didn't, doesn't your health book tell you you should sleep seven to eight hours? But has that changed? I wonder if that's changed. I wonder if like the health recommendation has now changed. Wow, this needs more chocolate. We got three people in here who sleep 10 plus hours. Wow, that's it? All of the rest of you sleep a lot less than that? How do you survive? How are you functioning? Although, Zilver, I feel like you're, I think you would probably be, I think all of our moderators don't sleep. Three a.m. to nine a.m. Nope. Oh. That's six hours too. Oh man, I wish I could be like you guys and just not sleep because I could do so much more if I had more time. Why isn't this getting thicker? This, this, this is definitely not thick enough to to pipe on. Addicted to being online, lol. So they're staring at their monitors. That's true. I, I. I do that too. I try to like, I, when I'm about to sleep, I'm like usually on my phone, um, like just surfing YouTube and stuff like that. But then I usually still fall asleep because I'm watching like ASMR type videos or like very calming videos. Um, but you guys don't sleep crazy. Well, hopefully you guys catch up on sleep, some sleep this weekend. Okay, I think this is kind of coming along. It's very watery, so I have no idea how it's gonna pipe into it. But maybe what I do is I mix it with this jet puffed thing, and then I can make it more um, like stable. Perfect, we still have 15 minutes left, so I'm sure we can do it in that time. Okay, so this is some of the jet puff that we used um, on our last project. Wow, the Valentine's Day thing. Valentine's Day cooking. I think if we mix it with the jet puff, it'll get thicker. You have no idea if this will work or not, but we'll find out. Ah! Thank you, Chocolate Lords, for not getting that on my computer. Today's a lot of praying. So much praying. Okay, that's pretty good. Okay. This is turning messy really quickly. <laughs> Can you guys see? Probably not. There you go. Now it looks like just ice cream.
It looks like I'm pouring hot fudge onto ice cream. Please combine. Okay. Looks pretty good. It's coming together. It is congealing. I don't know if that's the right word. Okay, good. Very good, very good. I mainly stay up because I don't want to miss you and Jeannie on YouTube. Oh, oh, Dragon Lear, that's sweet. But, but don't, but, but don't. For streaming at a bad time of day. Mm hmm. But I hope you're not staying up to which lacking sleep. As I say before, sleep comes first, health comes first. So make sure you're grabbing sleep. There's always boss. Let's put these guys into a punching bag. And pipe our pipe our filling for the muffins. This is good time for Saturdays. Oh yay! That is good to hear. Yeah, I guess Saturdays are a better time for most people. The um weekdays are, are not the best times for everyone, so I'm sorry about that. Almost done, almost done. Oops. Okay. Ah! Okay, there we go. Now let's fill this up. We're going to mix it up. So we're going to have some of the chocolate filling a little bit too. Drizzle on the sides. And then we're going to put in, fill in the main with the marshmallow one. This might have been a very bad idea. We'll see how it goes. Okay, slide this up all over the side so that you have swirls and then pour this guy in survive on three hr i get my mom to wake me up for things i need to do like water the dog so don't feel bad i watch you but i play batman as i watch water the dogs what does that mean you mean water your flowers and feed the dogs maybe you do it at the same time <laughs> but three hours is not enough well if i could survive on three hours of sleep i would have so much more time in my day I wonder if there's superhumans that can do that. Okay, let's pipe them and assemble. And we'll be done. Okay, here we go. Let's try the chocolate ones first. Oh man. This is this is way this is way too watery. Oh shoot. 
This is quite chocolatey and watery, or chocolate watery. <laughs> but let's see if it assembles. It looks nothing. It looks like a melted ice cream sandwich. Oh no. <laughs> okay, maybe I just put a little bit of filling and not too much filling. <gasps> Can I show something to you guys? Okay, I don't know about for the macaroon though. At least, at least the crepes were, at least the crepes were delicious. Kind of looks like a cinnamon roll. I don't know how it does that. Okay, let's make a little, a couple of the white ones as well. Maybe the, they will look better. Maybe a little less filling is better. Okay, there's the chocolate filling. And there you go. Wow, I dropped it again. There's your macaroon. Hmm. Okay, maybe this one will be more successful and not dropped. This, I should have followed the tasty recipe. So lesson of the day, just don't improvise. Follow the recipe if it's your first time. <laughs> oh, complicated. Complicated, thank you for joining and for subscribing. I appreciate it. This one looks pretty good, right? Should we try it? I heard you're supposed to let it rest before you eat it, but the issue is... Some of these are completely melted where they're oozing out of the sides. Let's try the chocolate one. Mm. Okay, as I said, it's very chewy and good. The filling, it looks like melted ice cream. <laughs> It's a melteroon. Mm hmm. That's pretty much what it is. It's a melteroon. Now I see why people charge a lot for macaroons. They're hard to make <laughs> and time consuming, but they're fun to make. I definitely want to try this again. And they go so well with coffee. Oh no, this is sliding apart too. But they still look pretty cute, I would say. Oh, you guys saw this. You guys saw that melting. I don't know. Can we get some? Oh yes, of course, Nezu. Let me make um a pretty strawberry one for you guys. There you go. This one is for you guys. It is pink because um because my heart for you guys. It represents my heart. Yay, strawberry. I hope you guys enjoyed the bite. But yes, it is very chewy still. The filling is the issue. It's getting everywhere. I thought chocolate ganache was supposed to harden. But I guess not. Impressive work. Those look delicious. Oh, thank you so much, John Holland. I appreciate it. Are you from Holland? I appreciate the kind word. word. 
Um, this one is a donut one. Let me see if the donut one we can make it look like it is a donut. Okay, so we just need to find a bottom for this guy. Okay, oh nice. I just need to poke the hole. Oh look, the donut one worked out. Ta-da! Should we do a chocolate covered donut? Donut. It worked! This one is the most successful macaroon. This is for you guys. A chocolate covered donut. Donut please! Donut macaroon! This is for you guys. Oh man! Well, wasn't that fun? I We didn't get to learn a single word of French. I'm so sad. I had like a whole 10, like 20 minute video that I was gonna watch with you guys throughout the stream to learn some French, but I guess I'll just use all the French that I know for now to say goodbye. So, let's just start. Bonjour, je m'appelle Eileen. Merci for being here today. And today was so much fun. It was a blast cooking with you guys today and cooking French macaroons and French crepe. I hope you guys had a good time. I hope you guys have a wonderful week and have a great time with Jean on her stream next in two minutes. And, um, oh yeah, and then hope you had a bon appetit. We can always cook and learn more next time. Good to have you here this week. Bye, Irene. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Mewing. Merci, merci, Mewing, merci. And so, uh, how do I say goodbye? Oh,